Gordon Strachan back to his usual 4-4-2 formation for this one. Two changes, Sean Maloney and Stephen Pearson dropped out, with Aidan McGeady and Maggie Zarafsky returning to the starting lineup. Edward Malafiev took charge again at Celtic Park. No Stephen Presley in the starting 11, the captain out with flu, so Berra and Tal were paired together at the back. Five in midfield and Velika, the lone striker up front. The referee was Craig Thompson. It is a perfect autumn afternoon for football. The pitch looks splendid. The players, I'm sure, will be up for it. And the intriguing question, of course, is what will Celtic do? What kind of hangover will they suffer, if any, from their European defeat? And, of course, for Hearts, are they on the slide? We watched them lead the last time against um, Kilmarnock. They probably deserved their victory. Snapping at the heels there, Hart's coming through, it's Paul Hartley, mate, fired and a shot at goal, but I think he got right underneath of that because of the attention of the Celtic players coming right across him. There he is, picking it up here, there's the bounce of the ball, and he was going to be closely marked in any case. It goes high. can't quite get to it, Celtic looking slightly more determined at the moment, Nakamura. Well, I think he really has to push this goalkeeper away to the side, a ball like that will simply bobble out. I think Celtic are missing real positive surges towards this Hearts goal, there have been too few of them, this might be one of them, Zaraski will try to himself, that's a great save, and Miller! Following up there, I thought he was putting that in the back of the net. Well, I did say that Celtic needed something much more positive, they showed it there, starting off with Nakamura, and then that shot there, which Gordon found very difficult to get hold of, and it was a difficult angle for Kenny Miller. Swing again. Kalinas. Well, the linesman said that hadn't gone over. So it's a good save there, if you like. Now, here's a break. McGiddy. Still McGinney might let fly a goal, he does in his way wide, he could have played it right, in fact, Zaraski is quite annoyed with him. There's the run, and given the frustration that Celtic might be uh, suffering at the moment, he was perhaps right to have a go himself. Well, these high ball forward are being picked up all right, Hartley. Michelunas, Malika, there's Michelunas on the break, that's a very good bit of play, can he put it away? Oh, great save from Boric, didn't get a touch to it, and eventually it was missed by Chesnoskis. That's a fact, I think Michelunas delayed a, a little bit too long, he was beautifully set up this time by Malika, maybe should have shot there, and Boric did get his foot down, and that could have gone in. That is put down as a really effective save, using his legs this time. So we've had uh, two chances at either end, and that kind of balances things out, and that's the way the game has been going. And in between, there's been virtually nothing of any excitement in the penalty area. Vital, it's in again, Chesnoskis is onside. Back it goes on a terrible miss by Velika. Well, he knows, doesn't need to be told by any of his colleagues, this should have hit the back of the net. Yes, there were defenders coming on him, but there was a lack of uh, focus 
and determination about he went for the ball. So they could try to get it away. Now here's Robbie Nielsen. Just Noskis. Has a bit of pace here. Nicolunas. And there was Alika going in for that. And again, it was McManus who was going to close him down. It was McManus's attention that saved the day here as that was put back in there. There he is. Well, Zaraski rather surprised nobody was with him there. And he does get it. Not the best of balls, Aguilar. And there goes Tesnoskis. Lennon chasing him. Lennon still there. Ball played in and not a, a, a good ball at all. As the halftime whistle goes, that summarizes what Hearts have been doing. They've been attacking more in the last 20 minutes of this half, but the final ball into the box has been very disappointing. There's the man, McManus, who's been outstanding in defense, and one of the reasons why the score at the moment is Celtic nil, Hearts nil. a very good uh, first 45 minutes but they made one change which isn't too surprising Dividas uh, Chesnoskis is off and uh, the player who's uh, come on is Nerudus Barraza right through the middle it goes <laughs> tell you what Craig Gordon was almost upended up with that one very hard pass back here's Michalunas still in play it's still Michalunas He's going to let fly. Well, the Celtic support on the far side thought that ball had gone across. Difficult to tell from this angle how wide that was when he eventually shot. Oh, way, way wide. Well, there's a lot of swear on the ball. It seemed to zip one way, then the other. Oh, here's Lennon. Alpha. Nakamura trying to get away from his mark as he's found that difficult today. Nielsen falling on, and that just touched, touched pass by Bella. I think he did well enough to get a touch in the first place, but I, I'm quite sure he didn't realize the danger that was coming from that uh, interception. So there we see the man in the woolly cap there, the captain, Stephen Presley, ill, couldn't play today, and watching a very reasonable performance by his colleagues. Up comes Zaraski, on comes Jan Benegut of Hesling. Now, a bit more pressure from Celtic this time. No. Forced into that by the attention of Aguilar. And there's a mistake. Away they go again. Velika. Velika going in. Is he going to let fly? Mistake in midfield. And uh, Snow is trying to apologize to Colville for it. But the striker who's already missed uh, a guilt edge chance in the first half. Picking up here again. Stumbling a little to start off with. Woeful finish, but right to have it himself. Lennon. Just got that away, Aguilar. Claims that a hand was used there. There's a ball in behind Velika now. And again he misses it. The third real chance he's missed in the game, and Neil Lennon is going to be booked for protesting. Palika again going through there. And that was an excellent chance for the strike. He took it very well. Watch how he controls it there. Nakamura. Neat little touch. 
It's not going to be picked up by Lennon. Uh, Balika again, he's on his own. Is he going for it himself? He is, and he's done it this time! His fourth chance, and he puts Hearts in the lead. This time dragging the ball away diagonally and slotting it home, and no more than Hearts have deserved in this game. They've had superior possession, better chances, and this time a very well-taken goal indeed. He had a lot to do here, he squandered chances already. And look at the angle he made for himself. Superb finish, but a man who could have scored three by now. And Jarosek is about to come on. Evander Snow goes off. <laughs> Picked up by McGiddy. We feel that uh, McGiddy might produce something for Celtic. Certainly, uh, they have to apply him with as much of the ball as they can. Here's Colville. They'll have to watch in the, the breakaways. He's crept forward. He's got to get back, though. Yeah, very good of Hesselink. Did get the touch. Now it's Naylor. Normally, he puts in beautiful balls. Yanisei! Side man. Once again, that tempting, swerving and very difficult to defend ball played by Naylor. Ending up with the Jarosek putting it into the side net. Miller is back there. And hooked away. I think uh, the goalkeeper, Craig Gordon, wanted the ball played back to him. I make it exactly five minutes remaining. Plus some stoppage time. Well, there's the head that is in. The equaliser by Jarosek. It seems so simple. After all the efforts from the corner kick. Lots of running and pushing, but watch the big fella just getting his blood locks into that. And Celtic look as if they've saved this game. Determination paying off. It's now one each. Nakamura goes it round. Well, did Craig Gordon get a touch? I don't know what the linesman was doing in the far side there. I thought Craig Gordon touched that and did a goal, but kept it in. Excellent save. That was nearly the second one. Miller. Back to Lennon. Nakamura. Here's Bologna, he's been making a lot of runs from just about here. I want a shot to goal, and that tested Craig Gordon all right. Celtic will be glad to see the back of this match one way or the other. There's a shot and it just passed. Barassa getting into that. Well, another clear-cut chance. Two Celtic defenders, I thought that might have been a slight deflection there. Jan Venegut of Hesselink tries to go in, Miller's chasing in after this. Oh, beautifully headed out there by Craig Gordon, and it was the pace of Miller that really disturbed that Hearts defence. So, will this be Celtic's last chance? Janosek did it the last time. Sheer determination. Just touched away. And Craig Gordon getting to it, and again it's gone in! McManus! Incredibly Celtic and across to this. 
The ball scrambled away to the side. Craig Gordon got to it and then touched it in. So, an own goal got by the goalkeeper. Touch that again. Suppose you have to put it down technically that way and Hawks can scarcely believe it. And up till now, a reputation of the most reliable hands in the country. And as a result, Celtic have clinched victory. Celtic 2, Hawks 1. We're delighted to play against an excellent.